Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we have got the Throne and Liberty patch notes for the Korean version. So this is what we're going to be getting in literally 24 hours, basically from now. So October the 30th update notes. Now, the reason why I'm still covering the Korean notes is for one major reason. The fact is because they're talking about the weapon balance changes in this update and also the Nebula Island, which is the pvp island um, and also the third reason is of course all of the updates that we're going to be getting on the korean version first and then they're going to be following over to our global version so that's why i like to keep you um, guys up to date and i also like to keep myself obviously up to date um, which is why i still have my korean account so i'm going to be jumping onto the brand new update uh, when it goes live tomorrow um, and i'm going to jump into the nebula island and i'll do a video on the island itself and take a look at the actual um, you know the rewards that you get in the game and let you guys and girls know what it's like so yeah anyway so let's 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 have a little read so um Oh yeah, as always, by the way, the link to these Korean patch notes will be in the description box just down below. So if you want to go ahead and read that, because there will be parts that I'm not going to read every single line, obviously. Um, so you can have a full read of it later on when you've got some more spare time. But anyway, the special dungeon, Nebula Island, will be unlocked. Into server content. So this is cross server, guys. Uh, cross server content that allows you to enter at level 55. Okay, so you have to be level 55. So this this basically confirms that we're not going to be able to get this in our current version of global. Um, we, we kind of already knew that, but them saying that you have to be level 55 pretty much secures that. We know for sure now. Um, there's a limited weekly playtime though. So although they said this is a 24-7 PvP island, it actually isn't 24-7 because clearly, as it says, there's a limited weekly playtime. There's going to be field bosses that will appear periodically in the hunting grounds and various events will also occur. Nebula Island exclusive trinkets have been added. Okay. So let's have a look here. We can't obviously read what these are, but these are looking... These are tier 2, tier 2 accessories. Um... So yeah, okay. So like I said, when I get into the game itself uh, tomorrow, I'll be able to have a read. As long as they've been translated in game, hopefully they've been translated already, I can take a look and then I'll be able to tell you guys and girls what what they are. And if they're, they, they might not be very good, but we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, here it says here, it's a lawless zone that can be entered at level 55. Nebula Island can be accessed through the Special Dungeons, Lawless Zones tab. So that means there's going to be more than one coming in uh, later on in the game. If they're going to give it its own tab called Lawless Zones, there's going to be more guys, more battlegrounds to come. Two to three servers will be matched into one. And the matching server will be changed every week. There is a limit. Okay, so here we go. So da, 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 it'll be changed every week. There is a limit to the number of people who can enter the island at the same time for each match, matched server, and you will not be able to enter if the number of the people of the island is full. Okay, that's fine. Right, here we go. So you can only play for seven hours per week, and the playtime is going to be reset every Wednesday at 6 a.m. Korean Standard Time. Obviously, for us, that would then be Thursday for for global um but anyway we'll have to wait and see for when that actually comes out in our version the playable time will be determined from the time you move to nebula island okay whilst you're in nebula island village the resistance exploration station the playable time will be reduced okay look how big this is by the way um the playable time can be recharged through the nebula charging stone Nebula Charging Stones can be obtained through the Island Monster Drops, Boss Participation Reward Boxes, and Exchange for Nebula Stone Merchants. Okay, so basically there's only going to be a 7 hour per week limit, but if you start to do the events there, you kill bosses and you collect tokens for example, you can increase your playtime. So that's fair, that's fair enough guys. I'm a little bit, a little bit disappointed with the 7 hours, but at least you can increase that time just from through playing basically 
Um, it consists of one village and five hunting grounds. Guys, this just looks huge. This looks, this is amazing. I can't wait to get in there and actually have a look. Um, there's a the village, resistance, exploration station. There's a peace area, mist forest, and then there's war zones. Orc village, arcane garrison, temple of devotion, and sanctum of seals. The PvP is always available when you're in the war zone, regardless of like if it's night or day, basically. On Nebula Island, teleport, uh, teleportation stones and warp movement will be will not be affected by the Ponsine's protection. Okay. Lesser Nebula stones and advanced Nebula stones obtained while playing on the island can be uh, exchanged for various items through the uh, Nebula Island stone merchant in Herba Village. Okay. Um, then there's the field bosses here. So every hour, there's going to be various events, and then the field bosses are going to appear periodically. So there's no it just when. Okay, here we go. At ten o'clock, so twenty-four field bosses occurs one time per day, and then sixty field bosses occurs one time per week. The number of people who can enter the field boss space is limited. And if you die, you'll be resurrected. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So if you die, it's GG's. You're going to be sent back to the main village of the island. So try not to die, basically, during the uh, field boss. Um, then there's new equipment as well. So we've got quite we've got quite a few different rings here. It's giving us uh, hit, critical hit, attack speed, bonus damage. There's health, evasion, endurance, wisdom. Okay, and then some necklaces here, more hit, speed, attack speed, some stats here. So there's quite some, from, from what this is saying, from, from the look of it, there's quite a few juicy uh, items here. Nothing like insane, um, but again, I'm going to wait. Because of the translation is not always the best on here, um, I'll double check in the actual game as well. Um, now, of course, for the Korean version, the artifacts is going to be dropping in, in, on this week's update. So we're going to be a, quite a while away before we get artifacts, but I can still take a look at that. Um, so, And also, you can you can get these also on the Nebula Island and from the Abyssal Dungeons in the Talanje region. Six parts with unique stats and effects as well. So yeah, we're going to be able to get even more stats, guys, and more effects from having the artifact system. Okay. So artifacts that are not needed can be exchanged into new artifacts by transmuting them into substances and can be obtained according to the probability set for each stage. Again, this is the transformation system that we don't currently have in global. This is a big gamba machine, basically. Um, and it's quite... Uh, a pay to win is a big element in, in this gamble machine for the fact that you can basically keep on buying items from the auction house uh, with real money, obviously, or unless you've got tons of Lucent from free to play. Um, you just keep buying items and you just keep gamble, 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 gamble. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. It's a big gamble machine. We don't have it right now. We, we may not even get this. They may tweak it by the time we get it. So don't worry about that too much. But... I can see, obviously, they're going to be using the Gamba machine for the artifacts as well. They use it for gear, rune system, and artifacts now. So maybe we will, maybe we will still get it because they're using it for more, more and more, more and more stuff. Um, but it is what it is. Um, so we're getting set effects with the artifacts here, equipping two, four, or six artifact parts. Okay interesting so a two set we got crit hit uh more health defense stuff like that um depends on the rarity as well obviously then you've got four sets and then you've got obviously six sets as well it's interesting so we're going to have so much like hit and defenses and crit you're going to be able to build up so much stuff guys with the rune system your your gear pieces your rune system sets um <laughs> that all of the uh, 
different, um, I've forgotten the word, I'm thinking of uh, resonant traits as well. And then you're gonna be able to build up even more set effects with the artifact system. The, we're, our characters are gonna become so strong, it's gonna be crazy. Um, then there's also skill effects as well from these certain stones that we have. So you can see here, we've got stuff like, this is the new skill that we're gonna be getting basically. So you can do things like increased, increased shield armor penetration. Okay, damn. There's so much here, guys. So like I said, read this on your own leisure because this, there's so much different stats and skills here. But there's some really juicy ones here. Status skill hits increase attack by 15 for three seconds. In More invasion. Damn, each hit increases invasion. 5,000 maximum health for 10 seconds. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Again, though, when it's on paper, sometimes these things seem over overpowered and broken and then when they're in in game they're not that strong but we'll have to wait and see adjusted combat balance for each weapon so let's see what we've got here so dev comment in this weapon balance adjustment the main goals are to enhance the play that matches with party members uh, and increases skills that are less usable okay so Long and two-handed swords. In group PvP situations, we want to give you the option to try and match up with your party members a little more often. In the case of the two-handed sword, so the great sword, we have balanced them by providing some countermeasures to unresponsive judgments. The dagger, the performance itself is considered to be good, but some of the lesser used skills have been buffed. Okay, which is fair enough. Crossbow. There are too many functions woven into selfless infiltration and the uh, intention is to make the concept of the skill clearer. As for the crossbow, we believe it's, do it's doing its job well enough in large scale and we've made some buffs to make it even, they've made some buffs to make it even more viable in small scale. Uh, what? I wouldn't say crossbow is needs buffs for small scale. I would have said it's the opposite in my opinion, but whatever, we'll see. Uh, longbow. We believe that the longbow's rest uh, restoration performance is too synergistic when used with wand. Okay, so they're kind of nerfing. They, so are they trying to say that they're going to be nerfing longbow, longbow and wand together? Uh, we've adjusted the cooldown of some of the skills. Mm, okay, staff to in, uh, in order to enhance co uh, uh, compatibility with melee weapons, some skills have been given additional effects. Interesting. Uh, wand, they've improved some of the lesser used skills. Right, okay, so, long sword. This is uh, sword and shield, right? Yeah, so they've done cooldown reduction. Reduces the cooldown of the Iron Fortress by 15 seconds with the mastery. It costs five mastery points. Uh, great sword. A new specialization has been added to the Devotion Circle. Again, some of these names might be wrong, by the way, um, because of the translation, so bear with me. Mastery reduces the cooldown of, uh, oh, okay, of Devo by 15 seconds. Ward of Devotion has been fixed to show the skill range of Sanctuary of Devotion when hiring specializations. Spike charge, the root can now be judged as an enraged attack. A, no, a momentum of vitality, a, no, a notation of the maximum health that can be affected has been added to the tooltip. Daggers, Vampiric Strike. The base damage and skill recovery has been increased. Okay, that's fair enough. Vampiric Strike wasn't that great anyway. Um, okay, they've increased that as well. A new specialization has been added to the Frenzied Sword Dance with AoE damage. Interesting. The Throwing Daggers has also... They've increased the amount of healing received. Crossbow. The Dispel Aiming has, uh, Mastery has been removed from Selfless Infiltration. Mana reduction has been added. Okay. So when this specialization is applied, it removes the root and movement speed reduction effects applied to you, as well as the stun and sleep effects applied by other players. So stun and sleep effects applied by monsters and environmental effects. Dispel status ailments, uh, and it applies a 30 second cooldown. Okay. Explosive trap has been increased, the duration. Uh, okay. Now longbow. So healing touch, so wand, rapid healing and cooldown is now shared. Okay, fair enough. 
When using a skill on a friendly target, the stacks will increase even when another's pl another player's healing hand is applied. Cleansing. The maximum number of stacks that can be unlocked when the debilitation status element is removed has been increased. Okay. From one stack to 20 stacks. Okay. Uh, Ward of Devotion. Change to create a shield that lasts for three seconds when hit at 30% health or less. And there's no, okay, so they've finally given us, so the longbow has this uh, bubble, basically, that put this shield that basically, currently, as the game stands on global and in Korea until tomorrow, um, there is no internal cooldown. So if you get hit by like a weaken effect, so like poison, for example, you get a bubble around the longbow user, right? So a lot of people, what they've been doing is that they've been removing as much weaken as they can to not obviously uh, activate the bubble because it's currently broken. And I play staff, I play staff longbow, and I said this before that it's, it's stupid. It needs a cooldown. So now we're going to have to have 30% health or less, and there's also a 60 second cooldown. So. It's a it's a warranted nerf. It's it's needed. I'm not I'm not mad at that. That's fine. Walking stick. <laughs> this is basically staff. I don't know, I don't know why the translation changes this to like stick and walking stick and stuff like that. Um, okay, the mastery has an eighty percent chance to reduce healing for six seconds. Uh, heat wave. Okay, fair enough. Thunderbolt. They fixed an issue. Okay, that's just a, a bug fix. The Ice Lance fixed the bug again. Light uh, Judgment Lightning, guaranteed continuous use. Mastery has an 80% chance to reduce the chance to block shields by 30% uh, percent for four seconds. Okay, Meteorite's damage. Okay, Meteor's damage has been increased. Um, Infernal Downpour has increased. So at the position of falling Meteors has been adjusted. Okay, so they're making Meteor stronger. Healing reduction has now been increased as well. Interesting. Okay. Wand. Wand's had some fixes as well. Yeah, so it looks like basically, guys, they're trying to basically make... Because currently, Longbow Wand is very, very, very powerful um, as, a, as a healing combination. Of course, it's, it's like the, the best healing combination you could have. So they're trying, by the looks of it, to... To just weaken it a little, a little bit, um, which I don't know what healers, I don't know what healers are going to think about that. Again, try not to get too hung up on what it's saying here, because in game it could be different. It could change. It might, it might read really strong or really, you know, you might think, oh my god, it's such a big nerf, but in reality, it might, it might be fine. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Status immunity system has been improved. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if that's been improved in reality. So when an additional uh, status effect is applied during the the immunity gauge will be a, will be additionally accumulated. So there is a difference in the immunity gauge that accumulates for each status ailment. Okay. Well, currently it doesn't it doesn't work. Currently the CC the CC gauge uh, thing system whatever you want to call it doesn't work properly so hopefully they fix that um this is talking about tier two weapons so i'm not going to worry about going into that right now there's absolutely no point for that um there's a new new uh, rift stones and boon stones they've changed the way some of the siege stuff is working again i'm not going to go into this the siege stuff because the, the, the reason why is because siege is currently different in the korean version um, there's no longer allies and friendly, like there's no longer, um, you can't see each other's names. It's basically red or blue and yellow, yellow for the, um, people that hold the, the castle, red for your enemies and then blue for your friendlies. But we don't know if we're going to get that. So I'm going to wait and see until, cause we have siege in a couple weeks, fingers crossed. So I'm going to wait and see. So there's no point talking about all of these extra siege changes because we might not even have the same siege as as Korea yet. So we're going to ignore all of this stuff now because this is all tier two. But again, like I said, if you guys and girls want to go ahead and um, read all of the extra stuff, you can do that. The link is just down below in the description section. But anyway, that's going to be it. Very, very, very juicy information. Good patch. Love to see it. 
um, a lot, lots of obviously buffs and nerfs and fixes, and of course we've got the battlegrounds, PvP battlegrounds. So yeah, stay tuned on the channel. Like I said, in the next day or two, I'm going to jump into the the brand new PvP island, and I'll bring you guys and girls a video of the rewards and my thoughts and opinions on the island, and I'll give you some some uh, some gameplay as well. But anyway, that's going to be it. Like, share, and subscribe. Catch you soon. Peace.